Hi gorgeous, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ara. I am a 39 year old mother of five beauty and fitness lover. And today I'm gonna to be doing this look with the Viseart Paris Etendu palette. This palette is a 36 month shelf life. It costs $44. I bought mine off of Beautylish. I love buying my palettes from Beautylish because they are so well packaged and they always add in little fine details and a little thank you and who packaged it. And I think it's such a sweet way to receive a package. And just as a side note, I am doing a first impressions of the new Fenty Beauty. This is the Pro Filter, no, Soft Lit, I lied. Soft Lit Foundation. I have mine in the shade 120. This may or may not be up before this video, so keep your eyes peeled. We are filming a video within a video today. This is the new Viseart Paris Reveries Etendu palette. I love the color star to this. So when it first was revealed, I knew I had to have it. I think the pops of purple and orange are so pretty together. I do have the original Paris edit. So this one, I actually love the color story here. It's more cool toned, more pinky neutral pinky neutral cool toned. And I feel like these two just pair so lovely together. The mattes in here were great. So I'm looking forward to seeing if these mattes are even better. The shimmers were very toned down and subdued. Paris Love Letter is an etendu. It's not the edit size. So this one, like the new one, these can be rearranged and fit into those pans. The edit could not be. Those are permanently, well, no. Yeah, they could be. They just didn't fit into the this size palette. I used this palette once, maybe twice. I did not like it. The color story anyway. The shimmers were fine, they're very subdued. The mattes were fine. I didn't have issues with the formula, none of it. But it just, the color story just was not for me and I just did not get the use out of it that I wanted because of that. I'm actually curious to see if there are any dupes in the edit palette versus the new Reveries palette. So in this palette, you are getting an even split between mattes and shimmers, six and six. And I do think that the depth range is actually pretty nice. You do have some lighter tones here, more mid-tone and some deeper shades. I already primed my eyes with the Sigma Persuade. The shade names are listed on the back of the sleeve here. I hang on to all the sleeves. I'm gonna start off with this peachy shade Aphrodite and I'm gonna pick that up on a melt brush and I'm gonna buff that all throughout this outside crease. I'm not gonna be too precise with this either. I'm gonna be deepening up this outer corner as it is. So I'm not too worried about how impactful this peachy shade is. I'm gonna make this a simple eye look overall. I love my Viseart palettes. I've got an entire drawer full. I don't give them enough love, but man, they are so easy to reach for, especially when traveling. And if I don't really have a look planned out, they're the easiest ones to just grab and throw on. And I can rearrange these and stick them in one of these Etendu palettes and travel with them, no worries. And I am a travel, a travel nurse, so believe it or not, I do take a couple of these things with me where I go. I'm a little haphazard with my placement. I'm not super worried about it right now. I can go back and blend. I'm gonna take this shade Demeter. Oh, I know I didn't say that right. Quite a bit of kick up in the pan. It doesn't bother me. And I'm gonna use this shade on the outer corner of my eye. And bring this all the way up into my crease and buff through my crease. This is only my second time using this eye primer, so I honestly probably shouldn't have used it, but I've heard so many great, th ugh, great things about it. Bring this all the way through the crease and just do baby circular motions with it. And like I said, I'm gonna go back and blend and buff when I'm finished. To be honest with you, I'm not a perfect person and I don't have perfectly shaped eyes or even eyes for that matter, so None of my looks are gonna look perfect to begin with. My left eye always has more creasing to it. It's got like a double fold going on, so. It's not easy to make both of my eyes look as close to the same as possible. I'm gonna take that same shade on a Makeup Forever brush and I'm gonna buff that around my lower lash line. Bring it up to meet that outer corner. 
and I'm going to take a Sigma E27 and pick up that original shade Aphrodite on the tip of the brush here and buff that all along that lower lash line and bring it up to meet this outer corner. I'm going to take a clean brush. This is a Sigma E40 and I'm just going to gently buff around that outer edge, not wanting to make my, my eyes look heavy. And now I'm going to switch to a Sigma E42 and take the shade Nymph on the tip of the brush here and I'm going to build up my outer corner one more time, kind of deepen it up a little bit more. And I love this brush for my hooded lids. It's actually very underrated. It's a little more stiff, but still soft. It doesn't have as much give to it, which is good. Because I don't want a whole lot of give placing this deeper shade because then it will get out of hand and I'll lose control really quickly. With baby circular motions into my crease about halfway through. And about right here is usually where that double fold kind of gets tricky. If you're one of those people, you know what I'm talking about. That gets tricky. I'm going to take a melt flat brush here and pick up that same shade nymph and buff this right at the lash line. And then before I apply my shimmers, I'm going to take that E45 with the shade Demeter. I shouldn't say anything. And just gently buff out that deep shade and blend it just a bit more. And there's no additional product on here. And now with that original Melt 818 brush, I am actually going to pick up the shade Aphrodite just a little bit less this time on the tip of the brush. And holding the brush really far back, very gently buff around those shades one more time. And the secret here is to very, very, very gently buff around those edges. And now for the fun part for me, I'm going to pick up that shade Prim Primvir? Primavir on a Sigma E45. This is a clean one. I'm going to put this on that inner corner. This one has a little bit less kick up. And this is where I feel like I give my looks a little bit more dimension and versatility because I'm changing it up and going from that peachy neutral and adding that pop of spring color. I absolutely love doing this with my looks. So this one is the shade Rosé and this one is the shade Tulip. I'm going to start with the shade Tulip and wet my brush. Place this on the majority of my lid. I want to try it with a damp brush before I use my finger. It's not the most impactful, so I'm going to use my finger. I don't like using my fingers. I prefer brushes, but I want this shade to really pop just a little bit more. I'm going to use this shade Rosé on an E54 Sigma brush. I'm going to pick it up first and then spray my brush. Kind of do the same thing that I did with that tulip shade before trying to use my fingers. Oop. And I'm going to actually place it on the inner third and bring it over Tulip. And as I place it over Tulip, I just kind of go back and forth and just do gentle smudges to help blend them together. I'm going to use my pinky finger and pick up that shade Tulip and just kind of help bring it to life a little bit more. I'm going to use a Sigma E36 and I'm actually going to pick up that shade Ephemere on the tip of my brush here and I'm going to see if I can just just a touch. I mean, it's definitely not giving me a whole lot. I feel like I would have done better as far as like a bright impactful look if I had used this one instead of Rosé. I'm going to use a clean E36 and pick up the shade Fleur. Fleur. And I'm going to use that in my brow bone to just kind of brighten up a little bit here. I finished off this look with the ColourPop gel liner in the shade Oons. I think that's how you pronounce that. And the kiss lashes in these style gold hoops. 
The look I finished off with my RMS bronzer and blush. I absolutely love the bronzer. It's gorgeous. It's in the shade Beach Walk Betty. This blush is French Rose. And the lipstick is Lisa Eldridge C1 lip liner with the Pat McGrath, I believe this is Nude Venus. Yes, Nude Venus 190. This is an absolutely gorgeous color story. If you're unsure of how to create a cohesive look with this palette, you could go with just these six pans and make a more purple look, or you can go with these six pans and have a more neutral peach look, and I think it would be stunning either way. I used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I used eight shades total. So four of them I did not use, but of the eight that I used, I love this look. It's so pretty. Granted, it did take me a little extra effort. I did have to use my brush damp, and then I went over the top of that with my fingers. I wish the shimmers were more impactful, but if you're familiar with Viseart, you're not always gonna get high impact, high, gl high gloss, high shine. Now, I do wish there were a more high shine shimmer in this one. I do wish there was just a brighter, shinier shimmer, especially for like an inner corner highlight maybe. But the formula is trustworthy. It's gorgeous. It blends so smooth. It's buttery. You don't have to think a whole lot. It's easy to use. It is a top tier formula. I feel like these actually work better for someone like myself who has dry, mature lids with a deep hood. So if you're looking for that type of formula to be friendly to you, this one is the way to go. Color story, if it speaks to you, spend your money, do what you wanna do. But I would say I still like the edit version a little bit more. Would love to see that one in this format. Overall, I think this palette is wonderful. I don't mind the price tag attached to it, especially considering the formula and the uniqueness of it, being able to rearrange the palettes. These are perfect for travel. I enjoy the new little details that they've been using. This one has the Eiffel Tower all over it. It's stunning. And finally, as I had mentioned previously in the video, these will go great together. If you have the edit version, you probably don't need the Etendu version but I think they're very cohesive together and you could get away with playing and mixing and matching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe for more content. Everything on my face will be linked down below. If you click on those links, they are affiliated. So thank you so much for supporting my channel. Do something for yourself today because you are worth it.